Yeah, so we're, <laughs> we're in our hotel. Uh, no, not a hotel. What is this room? <laughs> they call it a cabin? Yeah, so we're in the cabin in our <laughs> on on the Northern Expedition, which is the name of the ferry that's taking us from um, Port Hardy to uh, Prince Rupert. Anyway, we we started out from uh, Cobble Hill and we headed north, and we visited our friend Andy for the afternoon. Uh, this was on the first day. Yes. And then we went up to Campbell River. And we stayed there uh, overnight. At Money Pennies. At Miss Money Pennies. And it was a fantastic place. And we had a really excellent breakfast. Yes. Pancakes and eggs and fruit. Eggs and fruit. And we saw a few sites of Campbell River. I was used to work there uh, 35 years ago, live in Campbell River. So we saw the first place where I lived. Uh, then we saw the company apartment that I moved into. <laughs> you were not as excited, I guess, not excited about it. Hey, but it only cost ninety dollars a month, and all I had to do was clean it up, which was a job. But uh, but still, it's good, good to see that it was still there after all of these years. And then we went and we saw the park where I broke my leg. <laughs> we didn't go to the hospital where you got fixed up. Oh. <laughs> let's, let's not push it too far. <laughs> then we went north and we did some droning of uh, Seymour Narrows. We tried to take pictures of interesting highway shots. Oh, there was the totem pole where we stopped. Yes, that's right. And walked into that interesting forest yep. that went to the lake, Nimkish Lake. Or Nimkish River. No, it was a lake. It was a river. <laughs> okay. It was fresh water. It was fresh water. <laughs> and finally, we arrived in Port Hardy. We went to the Pierside Hotel where we made reservations and they were all booked out. They didn't have the reservation. They didn't have the reservation. Some problem with booking.com or other. But fortunately, what did they do? Well, they kept us waiting for a long time while they tried to figure out what went wrong. They never really came up with what went wrong, but it wasn't just us who was affected either. But anyway, they the manager had a sister hotel, and it was called Qua Lilith? Qua something. Yeah, Qua something. It's a First Nations owned and run restaurant and hotel. And it was much nicer than the Pure Side. It was. And we and only had to pay, and we got in there at the same rate that we would have had to pay at the Pure Side. Yes, that was a nice um, yeah. offer that they made. Because the second one was new and it was definitely more expensive. Much fancier. Yes. And it was lovely decor, decor. I didn't take any pictures, did you? Nope. Ah. Oh. Well, anyway, it had First Nations art on the walls everywhere. And even behind the bed, it had this beautiful um, sculpture with mm -hmm. the light behind it that lit it up. It was really very pretty. Anyway, we also had supper there. And after supper, we went for a walk on the pier at Port Hardy and uh, saw some people fishing and mm -hmm. um, just generally said goodbye to the day. And the next morning, we got up at 4 a.m. and ordered that we could be at the ferry terminal at 5.30 so that we could get on board and leave at 7.30. Good morning. How you doing? We're at the ferry terminal. And it's 5.30 in the morning. Yeah. And you are feeling wonderful. Right, I didn't push you here. <laughs> here I am too. Not terra, well, not totally copus mentis yet, but working on it. It was hurry up wait, yes. Oh, it waiting. was, it was horrendous getting up at that hour. But uh, but we did it, and we've we've had a fabulous day. Oh, it's been beautiful. Not I mean the stunning scenery, 
but it uh, it didn't rain. There were a few clouds, but there was also sun, probably more sun. Oh, than and clouds. we were able to get this room too, ah, which, yes. which which was fabulous too. The, uh, Tim suggested it. Uh -huh. Great idea. It was a great idea. <laughs> it worked out really if you well. To be on a boat for fifteen hours, it's nice to be able to stretch out and just chill. Yeah. So we've been able to read. I've been able to stretch out. Lucas has been able to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and go up on the decks. So it's been lovely. Okay, stay tuned. Yep, stay tuned <laughs> for our next adventure. Not kicking and screaming.